this last year has been hard on me and my family. Sometimes I don't sleep. When you see all what's going on in the media, it will make you afraid. It's like, what will happen to us? Even like, make me scared about my business. It's like, are we still welcome here? But when my baby was born, I remember looking at her. She's born here. She's in America. So that moment, that moment I decided to be strong. In 2011, things got worse in Syria, and I just have to leave. Like maybe we'll, the thing will get better and we we'll go back, but it's never happened. The first time I came to Oxford, I still remember that day. Driving around from the highway, I was like big cars. I was scared of almost everything. A lot of my Arabic friends, they scared to come here. Like, oh, they hate Muslims. You will not have a good life in America. You come to a country and you don't have nothing. Nothing, zero. You can't make money because I wasn't allowed to work. I don't speak English. You don't know nobody. Refugee life. It's very hard. Where do you start? Like you start with people, maybe they speak the same language. So I went to the mosque. It was like about four minutes walking, and that take me like two months to know where it's at. Because I don't know, GBS. I never work with the GBS in Syria. I asked him for work. And they told me, like, unfortunately, they can't offer a lot of jobs, but we can offer you food, monthly help. And that was hard for me. It's like, I can't do it. Can you let me just sell sandwiches here? My small dream was to sell falafel and juices like we have it in Syria. This is my food. And I want to give it with my love, my, with my style. And they let me do it. So I wasn't making much money, but I was happy doing something. I'm shy, shy. <laughs> you know, met Yassin here at the mosque. And this guy for a year or two years just consistently would come and sell these sandwiches. A lot of people would line up after the prayers got out. So I tried out his sandwich, and it was really some of the best I've ever had. So I asked him, I was like, why don't you just open up a store? Because I don't have money. <laughs> this is the only reason I'm not doing this. My credit was, even if I paid everything, the best credit line I was given, $300. <laughs> so we decided to team up, and we found an empty spot in a building downtown and opened up Yasin's Falafel House. Feeling of having like a restaurant, a real restaurant. So when I see it now, I still like doesn't believe. It's not an easy job. Sometimes you have a very hard day, 12 hour shift, catering in the morning. You'll get tired. But having a business will give you the chance to present yourself. It's not all you work. It's a message. My customer, they are my friend. Different face, different colors, different race. Because this is what Yassin Falafel House is about. It's about community. Whatever happened outside of this store, just forgot about it and come in. You are safe here. 
We hire a refugee who's just like me, who come here with nothing. People who want to work and want to be happy. The situation in Syria destroy our family. My brother is in another country. I'm here. My father with the with the sisters. It's not easy. It's like what will happen to them? Their future is hard for me. that you know and you don't know have contributed to what makes you. And for that, we ought to be grateful. Everybody is great at a time of ease. Everybody wants to show the best of them at a time of prosperity. But it's at the time of adversity, at the times when things are not going your way, is when we really realize what that gratitude of yours, what that gratitude of mine is made of. I'm very grateful to be here. I'm very grateful for my family. And uh, we are strong together. <laughs> I just think back about where I was and what if I still in Syria. Not many people know my last name. A lot of people just like Yasin Falafel. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it if they remember me of the good food and good taste, I'm really happy with it. Like, it's okay. One of my dreams is not having one store only. One of my dreams to get our message everywhere. Even the people who decide, oh, they doesn't like Muslim, they doesn't like refugee, they doesn't like immigrant, we have to change their ideas about it. And this is our job, and this is our message. If you believe in something, it doesn't, you don't have to leave it and just go. Say no. We're going to keep the American dream going. Because this country for everybody. <laughs>